should be advised we find a one time spotter up on the hill. More, more on the hill, more on the hill. Contact left, contact left. Hello Warfighters, War is Hell, welcome to a brand new episode of Arma 3 Gameplay. This is Arma 3 Milsim with the Milsim Unit Task Force Odin, and we are continuing on with the deployment inside of Vietnam that is all about countering Chinese aggression along the border as they're trying to claim some of the territory for their own, or at least destabilize Vietnam as much as possible. In the last episode, we saw that some of the uh, villages that we had gone through were completely empty. That was something that absolutely surprised us. So we're going to try to get some more information on what might be going on in the area. We got some good intelligence in the previous episode. We're hoping to be able to get the same here for this particular mission. So we're heading to some of the villages that are nearby, uh, ones that we know are occupied to try and see if we can get any information from the civilian population. Now, as we're going to be heading there, we do see an IED along the way. That is something that we saw in the previous episode, too. We know that uh, there may be some IEDs along the road, so we're going to try and take one of those out. But we're going to start it right here, just knowing full well we've made the stop after seeing what we suspect is an IED. You'll see what happens here. And then, of course, I will continue to cut back in periodically to keep the story moving. But until then, guys, thank you for watching. Senator. two. Say somebody needs some five five six. Uh, yep. Yeah. If you'll come to Vic three, I've got an extra uh, twelve mags in my bag. Uh, go to Vic three at the back. They've got twelve uh, extra for you. We've got nothing on mine detector. Do you want us to just blow it? Yeah, set it up just to make sure. All right. <laughs> Uh, Dagger, to ready to be advised, we're gonna set off a charge now. Saw it, copy. Hey, Smack, turn it in. Get behind the Vix, get behind the Vix, James, you too, get behind the Vix. Get behind the Vix. Alright, that's one back. All right, Fox back. Good, awesome. Good to go. You ready? Yep. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. You said there was two boxes. Yeah. Roger that. I'm gonna head back up. I uh, doing secondary assessment. How far? I'm green on mag. Uh, the both boxes were next to each other. Oh, okay, well then it's good. All right, go. Cool. Cheers, lads. That's my backup. Alright, my backup. My backup. Alright, too easy. I'm, I'm green on ammo. Are you watching a YouTube video, Martin? Yeah. Let it up. Pick three's ready to roll. Did you get the plus one up? It's always funny how they're excited they get. You got a plus one up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, like, look at Did you get candy? Yeah. He's excited to do his job, man. Let him have this. Alright, Vic's rolling out. Lima. So DZ Alpha is where we're going to, right? Right. I uh, so we're not off the plantation first, okay. uh, and then we're taking these two vicks. We're gonna go straight in. Okay. In that okay. case, then yeah. once this and road once ends, this road end, you're at plantation Saint Clementine. Roger that. Hey Wolf, I got a question. Do you want me to switch to y'all's uh, freak, or do you want me to? Because I don't know if I'm rolling in with y'all or if I'm rolling in with them. Uh you're rolling with them. Okay. They don't have any yeah, room yeah, in their vic. Yeah. Go right. Go right. Go right? Yep. Oh, RPG, right. RPG, RPG, RPG right. right. RPG right. RPG right. RPG right. RPG right. RPG right. RPG right. Down the right's down.
Keep that 50 on the left hand side. Two's moving to check the guy that's down. Later, everybody green. Tiger, I'm gonna get a quick ass up on everybody. Nichols is green. Snacks Secret green. green. Four is green. green. Six green. One of the things that doesn't come out in the videos is just the tension that we're all experiencing. We know that there could be an IED on the road at any point. We know that there could be infantry that's coming out of the jungle at any point as well. It really does add a lot of tension to what we are experiencing. I end up holding my position, just trying to take a look into the jungle to see if anybody might be trying to come this way from that direction. But fortunately, we don't see anything. We're about ready to mount up, but we realize that the tension, it's there for a reason as we all had a feeling that something was going to be coming our way. You'll see what happens here in this next part. All right, Dagger one be advised uh, to all Dagger elements, we're mounting back up and proceeding. Raider is going to break off from this point, continue on foot. We're taking the victims of the town. Over. Contact right, contact right, one o'clock. I got no eyes on this fucker. Uh, there was one guy down here. I'll point. He was up there by that far tree stump. Yeah, there was another guy in the in that saddle to the left, but he ducked back down. Right, this is Daga. Say again. Uh, wait, one be advised. We took contact from this ridgeline point here. Alright, mount up, mount up, mount up. We're ready to go in two. You want us to spray that left side, that while, left we're, side while we're, we're going? Uh, right is moving into it now. Okay. All right, boys, we're officially the decoy team. All right, last few heads on the swivel. We're now officially the uh, decoy team. Vehicle front, right side. Hold, hold, hold. Back it up, back it up, back up. Uh, do a herringbone, herringbone. Alright, soft dismount, 50, stay up. Hey, Snacks. Yep. Uh, go check it out if you can. I don't have a mine detector. I got the north. Yeah, okay, I'll come up with you. Hey, which one am, which one am I having to grab? What what are you having trouble with Red Bean? I don't like it. I don't like it either. I got an idea. Wheels are out. Yeah, that's why I don't like it. Hey, smack double back. Hey guys, I'm pretty sure we got an ID up front. Rush. Hey, James. 
Yes, sir. I, how well can you see that truck? Where do you see Aegis three opposing forces? Good. Okay. When I tell you to, you're going to light it up with the 50, okay? Yeah, I can't see it on Steam. Copy. Just uh, drag the HTML from the Discord back into the mod launcher. Okay, roger that. Hey, Snack, getting cover? I'm good. All right, James, fuck it up. Sound off, sound off, sound off. Snacks Goldie. Two's good. Four's green. Seven's green. Six green. Six green. You're five. Five is green. Gucci. Shit, sorry. Did I give you a number? No, you didn't give me a number. Oh, my bad. Uh, yeah, you'll be seven. I Sorry. kind of assumed. So it turns out our gut instinct about that particular vehicle was right. There was an IED inside of it. If we would have kept going and just ignored it, uh, this video would have gone very differently. But we're about ready to reach the first village, and inside of that village, we spot a civilian very quickly. I'm going to have a discussion with him to try to see what information we can find out. So that is what is going to happen here in this next part. Hopefully, we'll get some good information. All right, we've got a hold for a dagger to get in the position. Uh, sorry, Raider. All right, guys, we're gonna hold a position. Wait for Raider to get into position before we move into the town. Ah, uh, let's do a soft dismount. Gun, stay up. Tractor front. Tractor front. Copy. Tractor front. Stay there, buddy. Uh, hold. All right, smack you up. Just need to know what's going on, right? Anything else you want to know? I'm... Potential status on the uh, hostile in the area. Yeah, yeah. Hey, buddy. Hello? Sorry to scare you. Can I, can I put my hands down? Um, Give me one second here. I don't want here. to die. Okay. Um... Yeah, you can put your hands down. Okay. No, no offense. Uh, it's just been really rough around here lately, as I'm sure you've noticed. Uh, yes, indeed. There have been crazy things going on lately. Yeah. So the the town here is in rough shape. How how long is it? These buildings have been destroyed like this for. Oh, th this plantation has been destroyed since my grandparents were here. Oh really? Yeah, much hurt in uh, Vietnam. We're we're trying the to Americans figure out. Did a lot of damage around here. Oh. Yep. No, I can imagine. I'm glad though that that Vietnam and in the U.S. are friends now. Yeah. So friends. what? What? Uh, what have you been seeing going on around here? Have you seen? Uh, who's in pick two on the machine gun? Uh. <laughs> Me. Have you Number seen seven. anybody else with weapons coming through this area lately? Mount and uh, just cover the left side while I'm covering the snack. If that's uh, okay, not, please. That, not that I've seen. Uh, nothing. You talking nothing talk really machine lately. gun or? A couple of trucks come by occasionally. Just normal trucks. Uh, the guy trucks, on the general purpose though. machine gun. Uh, what kind of trucks? To the left of the driver's seat. Uh, just normal pickup trucks more than anything. Gotcha. We've been uh, hearing, though, that some of the uh, villages the nearby... Uh, I've been empty. Have you heard any rumors about what that might have been? Uh, well, towards the border, a lot of the civilians have been moving out due to the uh, Chinese aggression and pushing their, trying to push their borders forward. We don't like to be caught in any crossfire. How, how are you feeling about the Chinese aggression? I mean, it's been going on since I was a kid. It's so just, just normal for me. You're just kind of used to it. You're 
you're uh, you're pretty neutral to what China's been doing lately. Yeah, you know they they make their threats and then they go away. It's nothing more than that again. All right. Well, we're here to support Vietnam and to uphold the the UN Security Council's resolution twenty six forty nine. Uh, we're here to make sure that, that the territory of Vietnam remains as it is. Um, is there anything you can tell us that might might help us as we're, we're trying to help protect you and everybody else here? I mean, just uh, I, I really don't know. There are, there are just, you know, I have seen, you know, not uh, quite a while ago, I did see some people that uh, had you know, had guns and were walking around, but it's sometimes it's hard to tell, you know, I, we, we carry guns occasionally. And when yeah. people come around with guns, it's just another guys with guns. Well, we, we'd like to check it out. Where did you see those, those guys with guns at recently? Uh, they passed through, um, um, Zara Crumb. It, it was a while back, but they, they passed through there and crossed the bridge. So other than that, I'm not really sure where they went. Okay. Well, all right. I appreciate that information. Um, I wish you the best, my man, and, and thank you for for talking with me again. Sorry, sorry for scaring you. Um, oh, it's it's no problem. One, this is seven. If, if you don't I'm mind, I see seven. guys with these guns. Oh, uh, this is uh, true. Me and uh, Pop well, if both uh, if you don't mind, I'll let you go on your way. Someone um, check the tractor. Uh, would Would you mind you. taking uh, a like? Uh, As you kind of head out, would you mind going back uh, that way? Yeah, I can, so I can do you that. Push up okay. the while they do right, I appreciate it, man. I'm you currently on the mounted gun in second pick. Okay, uh, it's looking like we might be clear. That person was pretty helpful, able to get some good information from him about what's going on in the area and what to be on the lookout for. But one person is not going to be enough for us to kind of build a plan around. So we're going to go farther into the next village to see if there are other people that we can talk to to get some more info. Now, obviously, there are going to be people who are helpful and other people who are not going to be so helpful. We're going to encounter some not so helpful people here in this next part. Are we permitted, are we to, permitted uh, to capture die. anybody? Uh, yep. Okay. So no big surprise, no you're gonna follow this till you hit the bridge. Copy that. There's smoke, There's smoke. North, northeast. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Oh, maybe it's uh, oh, maybe Trumpy it's, uh, blew, it. blew it. Probably. There's that tractor. That tractor. And the dude. Hold, I see someone on top of the hill on our left to the east. It looked like he had binos. Might have been a rock, but I'm not sure. No, that's definitely a person. That is an AK. That's an AK. What's the range? Not sure. I have no shot. I got a shot. What's the range? 186. One sec. You got him. Tie it down. Uh, Happy be advised, we spotted one time spotter up on the hill. More, Another more one. on the hill, more on the hill. Contact left, contact left. Affirmative. Alright, my back up, my back up. I have a fucking sniper rifle with me at this point. Good job. Good copy. 
Nice spot. I saw them moving, I was like, wait, there shouldn't be anything moving up there. Hey, Seven, this is one good fucking job. Seven, you might have actually just saved our asses going into this town. I wouldn't go that far yet. That really was a good spot by Ray. The fact that we're moving and everything and seeing just a small blip on the top of the hill and recognizing it's a person, uh, that was nice. But speaking of spotting things, we're going to see some civilians on the right side of the road. This might be another opportunity to get some more information. We're going to get out of the car and try and talk to them. Uh, some things are going to be pretty fishy about what they say. You'll see what I'm talking about here throughout this conversation. Hello, Hello. sir. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Did you just hear that gunfire? Did you hear that gunfire that uh, that took place 30 seconds ago? Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I, I was uh, stuck in animation, as happens <laughs> to be occasionally. That's, happens to the best of us. It really does, doesn't it? Uh, what, what did you ask again? So sorry. Oh, you're good. Did you hear that uh, gunfire about a minute ago? I, I did hear gunfire about a minute ago. And then a couple guys with armed trucks and stuff come by weird how that works isn't it yeah no that that was us we we spotted a, a few people that were looking over this area um definitely looked like that they were uh, militants we're trying to see if we can find anything out here about uh who they might have been have you seen anybody who kind of matches the description of of carrying AKs or anything like that that's come through this area oh i mean some people just passed by this road not too long ago came uh from that way over there you know and then which way over here Th just over here right right uh let me, let me show you that way oh they were down that way yeah yeah they came from that way oh they came from that way yeah yeah they were in a truck and just drove on by can you describe the truck uh, i was normal pickup truck missing a door uh, and it was camouflaged for some weird reason, but people do weird things with trucks, you know? Okay. And so... me, on the other hand, I like my truck just like that boy right there. He heck yeah. Yeah. You man. seem like the El Camino kind of guy. Ah, I do like a good El Camino. Sadly, the front is like a car. There. Right, right. But sadly, the the back is like a truck. Vietnam. The front is yeah. where we kiss. The back is where we El Camino. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just like um, that, sir. Just like yeah, that. Yeah. So, um, okay. So you saw a camouflage <laughs> truck. How how long ago did that come through this this way? Uh, maybe five, ten minutes ago, something like that. Gosh. Okay. All right. That's good to know. So, how are you feeling about all <laughs> all that is happening here with the Chinese? You all right, man? <clears throat> sorry. Sorry. I, uh, do I need to stand six feet apart? That might be good. You never know. Malaria on, is a big deal around here. Yeah. Well, hold on. Let me turn in my turn on my Norton antivirus. So uh, we're good. Gotcha. Thank you. Good. Yeah. You're a good. You're a good man, sir. Uh, <laughs> ah, you know those Chinese filthy, filthy people. You know. You don't like them? No. They talk like us. They try to look like us, but they ain't like us. They're they're a bunch of filthy commies. Is that? I mean, would you say that that your friends here too? You you feel like that? That's how they kind of feel about them too? Ah, uh, you want me to be totally honest? Yeah. I don't know these guys. They just came here and talking to me. I freaking don't know who they are. Really? I kind of wish they'd get off my property, yeah. Oh. Interesting. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so. But, uh, you know, they, they've kind of just been talking to each other, and I've just been standing there listening. You know, nothing really important talking about the weather, the rice crop this year, things like that. Hey, oh, five. Right. Oh, yeah. And two up on me. The usual things we talk about around here. There ain't much to talk about, you know. No TV. Six, no, no. Up. Gotcha. So this is your property here? Yep, yep. There's a little plot right here. How long have how, how long have you been here for? Oh, um, I grew up here. You did? I did, sir. I did indeed. Fantastic. Um, <clears throat> your friends hold on. They're all looking at me real weird like, you know. Do, do you want me to get them to settle down? 
Yeah, yeah, it's making me a little uncomfortable. I feel okay. like I, I know the history of you Americans and us Vietnamese, and so. Right. Well, yeah, yeah, we're we're yeah, good. Yeah. We're on really good terms now, yeah, though. Uh, so. Well, that's what they all say. Yeah. Well, maybe Howdy, I can. Howdy. What? What's? What's your name? Oh, uh, uh, they call me Bob. All right. So. Uh, hey, Bob. Um. Hey. So. Hi, so yeah. these. How long have these guys here that you don't know been here for? Oh, I don't know. Maybe they've been here for about 30 minutes or so, talking, walking around. Don't you so, hate so, it? They're nice folk. Right. Don't you right, hate it when people... I have a question for you, Bob. Um, is there like a small town like this everybody knows everybody? Seven dollar uh, call you, signs. You know I, have I, the guys, yeah. I have the eerie fear. I have the fearing we're being move in watched. With all those people leaving from the border they and from... stuff coming this way, it... It's you know. Keep your ass peeled, Gunner. Yeah. The, the, are they speaking Vietnamese? Or they, what, what language do they speak? Oh no, for sure Vietnamese. So these guys, are, uh, these guys are speaking Vietnamese. Yes, sir. I I wouldn't know one of them filthy, Chinese commie motherfuckers from over on across the border. I know well, what they sound I, like. The reason I was just I was just asking just to make sure that uh, you know since we're here on a security detail, we just make sure that uh, you know we're keeping you guys safe and. Uh, Anyone who's coming here with uh, ulterior motives to uh, harm the people of Vietnam, we just want to make sure that uh, these guys aren't going to be part of that. But if they speak the language and they're speaking Vietnamese, then uh, that's what we just want to come here and check out to make sure you guys were safe. All right. Well, thank you. There sure is a lot of y'all. Goodness gracious. I, man. Bob, do you, do you, do you mind do if... Do y'all walk if... like this all the time? Um, all right, guys. Get back to the big sleep. Only uh, when money's in shop. Ah, well, money's a good thing. Yeah. Well, well Bob, I... Do you mind if we we took a lot take a look around real quick? No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. I I feel quick. like this has been a good conversation and and you and I are on good terms, so just well, just kind of want to take a look. I figure your name must be Snack Bar. It's written on your gun. Yep. You you know this. I do. Well, I'm gonna go back over here then. All right. Sounds good, man. I appreciate it. One three. We've got permission to search around here. All right, good copy. Let's bring the fix forward. That worked. That'd be advice. Be if I was just uh, doing a quick compound search. Cars, cars look good, house. but these guys who just came in, I don't know if they have something on them. Huh? I don't have zip ties. Roger. Yeah. Well, my thing is, yeah. Gunner yeah. One, same he deal. Said they keep he said your they, head uh, on a swivel. Keep towards the waterfront with your aim. Okay. They went from here to be speaking Chinese, wouldn't they? Mm. Depends how. Yeah. How much they prepared for this? not get so close to my car that'd be pretty cool fellas yes, sir. Uh, like thank, you, thank you thank yeah, you I, I take that was extremely suspicious hey excuse me hey how's it going hey how's it going yeah, can i see some id from you please bud you got identification uh, hey, we don't yeah. normally carry identification here you need some uh, cake you for you? Yeah, yeah yeah i live here i don't need no passport Okay. Okay, can I get you just to uh, do me a favor? Just gonna put your hands in the air, just do a quick, quick, quick pat down. Take your own shit. Um, fine. I guess so. You do have the gun. Once, right, two. He uh, said, asked us to stay away from his car. So we might want to check it real quick. Is, is, is it just yourself or is, is this your son right here? Seven to one. He sounds oh, like he's yeah, stalling. My pal right there. Okay, can I get him to uh, come over here and uh, let me just take it to a quick pat down as well, please? Uh, yeah, can I get you to keep your, keep your hands up, please? Oh, yes, sir. Sorry, sorry. Forgive me. Mm -hmm. Alright, three and five. I need you on me, please. Oh, you need me to put my Oop. hand... Oh, Misclick. Gunfire. 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 That's a gunshot. Misclick. Oh, oh, okay. Alright. Jesus. Yeah. You, you heard nothing. Nothing happened. I can I get you to just put your hands on and uh, just want to do a quick pat down, please, and thank you. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, particularly now, what? You guys got a map and compass, if you're local? I just like keeping a map and a compass on me. You know how it is. No, I, I really don't. That's that's kind of weird for you guys to be having maps on you. 
Well, you know, sometimes I like to take walks in the woods. Stick out there and you might get lost. If I've got the map and a compass, I'll find my way back home. So, so you guys said that you live here? Yeah, I live here. How long you guys been here for? Uh, not too long. We did live at the border, near the border, you know, but the Chinese started moving in and we yeah. said, well, we'll just move, head on back down yeah. to this village and there's empty places everywhere, so. Okay. Check them out. So um, you asked us to stay away from your car. Is the reason why you're asking us to stay away from it? I I, well, it's not, it's him that wants to stay away from his car, but he really likes his car. I mean, I'm not kidding you. He washes that car every day. Every it's day. His, it's this green one, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, that green one right there. Are we going to do a quick search of the vehicle? Uh, he Dude, won't can you double check much, I must the vehicle? Say, but, uh, I took a look at it. I didn't see anything. You all have the but... guns. Yep. So, I mean, Be we can't to. really tell you no. I know well, last time primarily... Vietnamese said no, but uh, yeah, it's nothing else. Well, it's not that. We're primarily here just as a security force. So, we just have to do our sweeps. We're looking for the insurgents that are coming across the border. And uh, oh. again, it's just anything that seems suspicious, we've been told to further investigate. I gotcha, I gotcha. Well, I guess y'all go ahead and take a look. Ain't nothing much to see around here. Same for you. Yeah. yeah, I think he's good, except for that busted windshield on the driver's side. Looks like somebody tried to uh, assault him there. Gunner 1, is there anything in that stilt house to the south that you, you can a, see? Do you have a problem with the uh, driver's side window there? Negative. Well, nice. you see, that, that window over there... Uh, what happened was I was driving one day behind somebody and he was being all stupid and sliding around and stuff and then I lost a little bit of grip on the road and slid and then he threw a rock in my window. Well, sounds like he was a butthole then. He, oh yeah, I tell you what, some of these, these, these people in these little farm villages and stuff, they are total assholes. Well, I wouldn't go that far because uh, seems like you live here, correct? I lived up near the border. Yeah, but you live here now, right? I, I do now, yeah. Well, you dressed awful nice for somebody that lives down here on the farm village. Well, my friends are dressed awful nice, too. I just have have some nicer clothes. Yeah. Hmm. I try to wear my best some days when I'm going to see my friends. Well, were you leaving here in a little bit? No. I, I'll, I mean, we might roll up and head out, but who knows? We're just chilling, <clears throat> talking. You said like you were gonna go somewhere here shortly, so. Oh no no! I just was coming to visit my pal there oh. in the yellow shirt. I couldn't find so anything. Hold on, time out. Uh, two checked the car too. Oh, same I, thing. I, 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 you lived here, but you're coming to visit your friend. Who yeah just yeah. Showed up thirty minutes ago. Your story's not making sense. Well, you see, the fella there in the yellow shirt lived down. You towards, guys have uh, no, Seven to no, six. I don't. <clears throat> Kay Lang prove well, man. Okay. And, and I was picked him up, and then we came back up here to see. Our fellow ran a striped well, see, shirt. That's, that's not yeah. what you told my friend over here with the baseball cap a minute or two ago. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, it's hard so to keep on straight someday. I need, need some you days. to figure out which are, story but... you're going to tell us and which one's going to be the right one before we decide what we need to do here. Uh, the, oh. the story is I was just visiting a friend. I Yeah, I live here. I haven't lived here long, you know, but my friend lives down the road. So I went and got my Sunday best on to you visit did good, him. Did Drive down, visit him, came back up here. Visit nope. the feller there in the white shirt. Well, hold on now. You you said you had to go pick him up, but he lives right down the road. Which well, one is you it? You did good. Yeah, you, I like to drive my car to pick up my friends, even though he lives right down the road. I you know, see. right down the road can be a very generalized direction. Oh, so boy, you're talking right. about this guy right here is your friend? The yellow shirt. Oh, the yellow shirt. Oh, I thought you said yellow white shirt. shirt. No, he he's hey. just an acquaintance. Right. Uh, he says he don't know us. He knows us. How he just don't I, like what's, us too what's much. What's his name? His name it's I Bob. Mean, I, uh, walked mm. around with I my... thought that was your name. No, Getting no, no, down. no, no. Bob is Bob is the white shirt guy. Yeah, Bo Bob is that guy. Yeah. So, but my point here I is, you said you didn't know those guys when you were talking to my f my friend here with the snack bar on his gun. Well, and well, that was the guy in the white shirt friends? that was talking. Oh, that was the white shirt I'm guy that was talking. White shirt guy doesn't know us too much. Well, yeah. What? But why did you he stop here, here then? Thanks. If you don't, don't know him, then why did you stop on his property? Uh, you gotta introduce yourself to some people, don't you? Now. It sounded like uh, so he he didn't like you being here though, and well, yet you you've been here for thirty minutes staying on, on his property. Your story's well, not guess, making yeah. sense. I, I think this. I, I think these that. two fellows need to come with us. 
Yeah. Uh, All right, guys. I under the US jurisdiction. I with uh, us being here, you guys are going to be detained. Oh, okay. Well, First. alrighty then. Unfortunately, your stories are not adding up, uh, and we cannot allow you to uh, unfortunately remain here. Um, you guys will be uh, coming in with us, okay? Well, alrighty then. <clears throat> Hate to do that to you. you. Sound like you're a nice fellow, but uh, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, All right. Bob, enjoy ah. the peace. Thank you, guys. Thank you. No problem. So they they were right, saying I'm, I'm uh, you're an acquaintance I'm of theirs. Get a pick up with these two. Well, I don't even know, man. Uh, I tell right, you, they call me an acquaintance. On. I don't know who they are, but I guess since we've met each other now, they consider us acquaintances. I don't like them being here, but yeah, you know how it is. Yep. Some people just are too nice for their own good. Yep. Well, Bob, Great. it was good this talking a, to you. Won't be good Appreciate talking it. To you. I'm gonna uh, head back to my house. Back my house. For, uh, All right. See you later, Bob. Sit down, isn't it? I'd uh, be advised, Havoc. This is uh, Dagger One. We've got two uh, X rays in custody uh, requesting extraction of uh, two suspects. I don't think that's how it works. Affirmative. Right now. One, three. I'm yeah. going to set up getting posted down the road in case uh, somebody's watching us do this. All right. <laughs> Six, go with him. Where's he going? going to go pose up on the road. Go with him. Also, one keep uh, one thing that this Bob character told us is that there was a camo truck uh, that came south to north down this road, so we probably should look behind us too Ready in case one, it comes one. back. Hey. Why am Ready I one, running? Uh, maybe you want to burn some calories? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, negative. They were not carrying. Yeah. All right, this is as far as I'm thinking about going. I'm gonna get on the other side. All right, sounds good, man. For those of you who made it to this part of the video, I'm really curious to know what you thought about these individuals. Now, for me, they really did seem fishy, and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that there's a lot of tension that we're experiencing. We were being watched and engaged some hostiles right before that we got to these guys, and we know that there's a possibility that there could be enemies that are intermingling with the civilian population. We just never know. But yeah, no, tell me in the comment section whether or not that you guys think that they were fishy. In fact, let's make that the word for this video. If you've made it all the way through, put fishy in the comment section so I know which videos that you guys are watching and who's watching them all the way through. Uh, there's obviously going to be more to come in the next episode as we're going to continue to talk to some, uh, some civilians and we might encounter some enemy forces. It all depends on what information that we are able to get. So a lot more questions and conversations, some role play, all of that to come later on. Make sure that you guys come back for it. Thanks to everybody for watching. Thanks especially to everybody on Patreon for supporting me. Their names should be showing up. And if you're wanting to support me in the same way as well, all you got to do is check out the description below and you'll find the link to Patreon there. But anyway, thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. War is hell. You don't have to worry because Warfighters, I've got your six.